Okay, another annoying little technical detail with these smart boards is the wireless Bluetooth option and the USB speakers with digital audio. Um, you can have USB digital audio where there's an internal digital audio amplifier inside the speakers that can be fed from your computer. And um, you have the Bluetooth option which allows your board to communicate with your computer wirelessly over the, the Bluetooth. However, the engineers at uh, Smart didn't quite think all this through properly here because, you see, the wireless Bluetooth is a bi-directional protocol. There can be USB communication occurring in both directions over Bluetooth. However, the way this is designed, the USB Bluetooth only works for the board. There is a USB connector that hangs off the bottom, but um, that's only for connecting from the board to the computer with a wire. Now, what you could do is that you could plug USB from that connector into your speaker and technically be able to use the audio with the Bluetooth, but that doesn't work. That's, that's not the way the equipment was designed. That just doesn't fly. Okay, so if you want to use the digital audio capability of your speakers, you must run a USB cable. You have no choice here. You have to run a USB cable to your computer to get digital audio. So, um, but if you are going to run a cable for USB audio, um, there really isn't any reason to have purchased the Bluetooth because you can plug the board into the speakers and then run from the speakers to your computer. And if you do that, um, why are you buying the Bluetooth option? It's, it's completely unnecessary. Um, this is, I think it's $100, $150 addition to your board. It's completely useless because you can just bypass the need for it completely with a short cable that goes from here to the bottom of your speakers and just use that cable that you already have to run to make the speakers work. But, you know, the, once again, this is not clearly documented and it's just another frustration with hooking up these boards.